So when the masters come here in physical form, and we see them as a physical being, they are performing many functions. They are helping disciples not only in this plane, simultaneously they are helping souls in other levels who are their charge. And when you go in with a master and the radiant form of the master appears, it, it appears as a glimpse. The radiant form of the master which we see inside it looks like it's just a glimpse from a distance. It comes near, goes away, comes near, goes away. Then ultimately, with more love and devotion in your meditation, it becomes more and more clear. Then you express your love to the master's form inside. The master comes so close to you that he's closer to you inside than he's even outside physically. From that point onwards, he takes you and travels with you to all these different places within each region. He doesn't say, okay, let's shoot for such Khant. He says, no. What was your interest? I wanted to know, Master, if there are really any hells and heavens. Okay, I can show you. Let's go spend a little time there. Master, I don't like the hells. Okay, let's go to the heavens. There are many of them. Okay, Master, I would like to see the other planets. I heard there were 38,000 planets. I never saw any. Okay, let's go and see the galaxies and see what is going on. In the physical plane, in the astrophysical overlap, let's go and see that. He shows you so much, like a friend on a, on a holiday, on a vacation. That's the relationship. And the holiday extends to every level. The experiences are totally different. And he is with you as a friend, as a companion, traveling companion, the best lover, the best beloved ever, and you travel with that in every stage. But you are having experience at one stage. The master is simultaneously operating at all other levels also. But you are traveling with him in the astral plane. He's taking care of another disciple right here in the physical plane. Now, question arises. A little secret I want to share with you. A secret. If master comes to this world... A secret that girl knows about it, but mm -hmm. <laughs> if the master comes into this world in one physical body, he is a human being. He performs all the functions of a human being. I always abbreviate them into sure, 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 but it's more than that. <laughs> but whatever human beings do, he does, lives like them, works like them. Indeed, does many things which we think he should not be doing. He is doing things for certain individuals. Great master, living in a beautiful place where new toilets had been installed, goes to live with Easter thing, where there is no toilet. He has got nice showers installed in his house. He goes to live with the man where he has to carry a bucket of water and take a little tumbler and put it on his head. Did he need to do it? He did it for Easter thing. He came to Easter thing's level. He says he loved him more than ever before because he was a friend at the same level. Masters are continuously doing this. With the individual disciples, they are coming to their level and taking them up from there. So they are performing so many different functions. And then at the same time, while well, they are taking care of these things as a human being, they are taking care of things in other planes. But how can one master in one human body, acting like a human being, take care of hundreds, sometimes thousands of disciples. What is the modus operandi of a master? That here he is a human being, he is seeing one person and he's taking care of people who are far away sitting there. How does he do it? As I told you yesterday, I'm always interested in the mechanics of these things, though sometimes they're not mechanical, but still, one can understand, he uses a process called an astral clone. He makes an astral clone of himself. And the astral clone sits in each one of his disciples whom he has initiated. Permanently. 24 hours. The astral clone is with that person. Everybody can see the master talk to them. But they are talking to the clone of the master. What is the relationship of the clone to the human being who is a master? It's a continuous exchange 
of information what's going on. The master in the human form is giving all the instructions to the clone that the disciples are seeing and the clones function like the master. And any information that is needed by the physical master in the human body is constantly being conveyed to him through those clones. Therefore a master, how many clones can he have? Infinite. His capacity to communicate with his own representations in the astral plane, the radiant form, is limitless. So the radiant form of a master does the same things that the physical form of a master would be doing. Because it's in, the physical form is caused to touch with that. But since he has to live a human life with human beings, he doesn't reveal the secret. This secret that I am sharing with you, masters don't normally reveal. So masters will act at the level of knowledge of the human beings. You tell the master something is happening, what? Really? They don't need to say really, because they know it already. But they will really communicate with us, with us at our level. Exactly. They will say, oh, did you read the newspaper? No, master, do you read newspapers? Oh, how will I know what's happening? So the masters play a very beautiful game of being at our level and helping us. So this is, I have today taken the liberty of quoting to you from the textbook of masters. So how they do some of these things. <laughs> but it's always nice to know how this whole operation is going on and to know how the masters take such good care of us. They are the best friends. You can't meet a friend like that in any part of the created universe, either in the physical plane or any other plane. If anybody can find a better friend, I'll reward him with everything I have. If somebody can find a better friend than that, there's no better friend than a perfect living master who has initiated you. So this is the beauty of the spiritual path. It is not uh, merely a teacher-taught relationship. It's a relationship of a companionship and friendship and love and devotion of which there is no match. So I hope some of you are really uh, into this path and have been initiated. You will understand what a great thing has happened in your life, what, how blessed you are. And those who are not initiated, I pray for them that as soon as they can, their seeking is ripe enough, they'll find a perfect living master and get initiated.